Hello, my name is Tash. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome back if you've been here before. I'm physically based on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, uh, but I do offer online programs, online meditation programs, um, private and group online yoga classes, as well as teaching face to face when we can. So at the moment, <laughs> we're in the COVID-19 uh, lockdown, lockdown in Queensland. And so I created what I'm calling a 30 minute quarantine yoga flow. It's quite a strong practice, but if you want to get set up, grab your mat and we'll begin by coming onto our hands and knees. So coming onto your hands and knees, you just want to make sure that you're spreading your fingers and just ensuring that your knees are stacked beneath your hips. And then just start to settle back into child's pose to begin with. So you're going to take your knees quite wide uh, so that you can allow your forehead to come down to the mat. Hips nice and heavy, hips sinking down towards the heels. And if you haven't already, just starting to relax into this position and take a few slow, deep breaths, starting to slow the exhale down and just allowing yourself a little bit of time to integrate your mind into your body, your mind into your breath, your breath into your body. So a few slow breaths and then we'll begin the movement part of our practice. Let's take one more deep inhale. I'm going to slow exhale, maybe through the mouth now as you start to move up onto all fours. You might want to just reposition your knees beneath the hips and starting here to just shift the hips back and forwards, back and forwards. So a very simple rocking like movement, hip sink back and forwards. We'll just take one more of those, just sinking the hips back and forwards, rolling over the wrists and then coming up onto hands and knees. Here we're gonna take an inhale, come into cat, exhale into that rounded spine. So inhale, chest forwards, look forwards, exhale, round the spine into cat's pose. Inhale into cow, so shoulders draw back. Exhale, press the hands into the floor and really lift up through the low belly. We'll take one more, inhaling arching the back, shoulders back, exhale as you press your hands and round through the spine, chin to chest. Come back slowly to center and here we're just gonna start to circle the hips around. So still on all fours, just making a looping shape, a circular or an elliptical kind of movement with the hips, so shifting back to the side, to the other side and then forward, just circling around. You can't really get this wrong, we just wanna start to iron out any creases so to speak and start to dissolve some tightness and tension through the body and then back to hands and knees we're going to extend the right leg back and the left arm forward so in this position we're going to breathe in extending away exhale bend those limbs towards each other chin to chest inhale to extend exhale round so quite rapidly a couple more inhale lengthening exhale round one more, inhale to expand and extend. Exhale, coiling into center. Now come back to that extended expression. We're gonna pause here and begin to bend the right knee. So you're trying to stamp the foot up onto the ceiling. Left hand reaches back and you're gonna to try to clasp the foot with the hand. So kicking back, kicking the foot into the hand. Try to lift up out of the right shoulder and then we'll come back into that spinal strengthening pose as you transition now into a side plank pose so right foot comes down in line with the left toes extend the right arm up to the ceiling look up if you can if your neck's okay a couple of deep breaths here it's optional for you to maybe straighten the legs and come into that full variation and then we'll add a side stretch here so the top arms extending up over your head trying to lift the hips and then moving back slowly to a plank pose, so the top of a push-up. A couple of little rocking movements, just like we were doing earlier on hands and knees. So shifting back and forwards in plank. Keep your core switched on, the tailbone tucked under. And then for this round, I'm going to drop the knees as we move from high plank to low, coming all the way down. Take an inhale with the forehead down. Come up onto your fingertips. And then exhale, start to rise up into this nice, wide, spacious cobra. We're going to hold there. Take an inhale. 
exhale waving down chest down forehead down inhale relaxing resting exhale as you rise up into that kind of oscillating or wave like cobra exhale take it down inhale relax forehead down exhale rising up cobra pose we're going to hold it here shoulders back and down lift up through the crown of the head and then exhale coming down place your palms alongside your chest and we'll rise up into your regular cobra bhujangasana exhale shift the hips back to child's pose forehead to the mat balasana take a couple of breaths here just resting and releasing through your low back and stretching through the glutes a little bit we'll move back onto hands and knees and repeat that on the other side so inhale into cow exhale round the spine lift up through the belly really trying to release through the spine inhale chest forwards look forwards or look upwards exhale rounding and again inhale arch the back draw the shoulders back exhale press the hands into the floor as you lift the belly coming back towards that neutral spine this time we're going to lift the left leg straight out behind you and your right arm so opposite limbs we'll pause here breathe in reach the limbs away exhale bend and round in inhale to extend exhale round inhale lengthen exhale rounding in and again inhale and exhale coming back into that extended expression pause for a moment as you bend the left knee reach back with the right hand to take a hold of the foot kick the foot into the hand try to lift up out of the left shoulder you don't want to compress into it take another breath and then moving back through spinal strengthening pose as we shift into a side plank bastistasan so you can keep the right knee down here and the left leg straight or if you're up for it if you're feeling strong you can stack straight legs so stacking the left leg on top of the right and wherever you are knee down or leg straight we'll take a side stretch in side plank that top arm reaching up and over your head reach 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 try to keep lifting up through the hips moving back into plank pose top of a push-up again keeping your glutes switched on your core on as you lower slow low push-up rise into cobra or maybe upward facing dog here as i am lifting the hips and the thighs and then exhale back to downward facing dog downward dog we'll take a few breaths here maybe rolling out through the shoulders walking in place bending one knee and the other just alternating left and right and right and left and maybe a gentle nodding and shaking of your head like a, a kind of hybrid yes no keep walking out through the walking out your dog now keep the breath full and then from downward facing dog let's just kind of casually walk your feet forwards to the front of the mat feet to the front of the mat both of them fold forwards here uttanasana ragdoll pose maybe even here a little bit of movement rocking swaying side to side nodding shaking out through your head or fingers behind your head just stretching a little deeper through the back of the neck and then we're prepared to come into a standing position fingertips to the floor let's bend the knees take an inhale exhale roll yourself up to stand all the way up take the arms up inhale exhale hands to prayer we'll pause inhale reach the arms up exhale fold forwards and down back to that uttanasana forward fold inhale lift up halfway exhale step back into a downward facing dog we'll hold for an inhale hold downward dog exhale hold and then down dog bend both knees breathing in here on the exhalation roll forwards to a plank pose so top of a push-up we'll hold there and then inhale exhale high to low move through into cobra upward dog and then shift back to downward facing dog let's take three legged dog lift the right leg up on the exhale step that right foot forwards to the right thumb pause for a moment here and then lower that left knee down we're going to straighten that front front leg into a half splits arda hanumana hanumanasana exhale bend the knee inhale straighten exhale bend the knee into that low lunge we'll take one more inhale lengthening bend the knee i'll do another one for good luck if you like and then we'll rise up into a low lunge left knee is down 
Right hand to the right hip, take that left arm up and over to the right side. So keeping the hips sinking forwards, left arms reaching up and over. And then release both hands, fingertips either side of the front foot. We'll move into a modified pyramid pose. Parasvottanasana, straightening both legs. So that right leg straightening, you're drawing that right hip back and trying to extend your spine over the front thigh. You can have both knees bent or one knee bent if you need to. Move back into a high lunge this time. Rise up, high lunge, Anjaniasana. Left heel is lifting, right knee is in that lunge position. Maybe lean back a little bit if it's okay in your spine. We'll take another inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands down. And move into a plank pose, top of a push-up. Take high to low, low to cobra or upward dog. And exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. So lift your left leg high, three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, step that left foot forwards, all the way forwards to the left thumb. We're going to straight away lower the right knee and sink into the hips. Start to shift back into a half split and then exhale back into low lunge. So inhale, half split, straightening the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straightening. So it's quite rapid, quite dynamic movement, just straightening and bending that front leg, the left leg, this kind of rocking movement. He will hold the lunge and rise up into a low lunge, a right knee down, left hand to the left hip, right arm up and over to the left side. So sinking into that lunge, the hips are forwards. Let's take both hands down now, maybe fingertips, give yourself a little bit of height. And then step the back foot in a little bit closer if you need to. We're moving into that modified pyramid pose. So the back heel is most likely lifting. It's okay. You can have one knee or both knees bent. And just working that left hip back, kind of spiraling, turning it back here, extending your chest, your spine over the front thigh. Bend that front knee, rise up, back up into your low, oh, sorry, high lunge, Anjaniyasana, crescent pose. Really send forward through that left knee, back through the right heel. One more deep inhale, reach up, lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale, palms framing that front foot as you step back into a plank pose, top of a push-up, inhale, high to low, exhale, low to cobra, upward dog, take an inhale here, exhale, press back, hips to the sky, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog, lift up through the front ribs here, then bend the knees, look forward, step or maybe float, jump your feet forwards, inhale, lift up halfway, exhale, fold, Moving into chair pose now, bend the knees, drop the hips, take the arms up, Utkatasana, fierce, ferocious pose, tuck under through the tailbone, lift in and up through the low belly as you sink the hips a little bit lower, let's take the palms to touch here, take an inhale, keep reaching up, exhale, come up to stand, pause for a moment, take a deep inhale, exhale, hold. One more inhale as you reach the arms up and then exhale, dive down, fold forwards and down, all the way down, forehead to the shins. Inhale, lift and lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, come back into chair pose. Inhale with the arms reaching up, sinking the hips down, nice and tall through the spine. Take one more inhale here, chair pose, and then exhale, folding forwards and down. You're going to just pause in this forward folding position, just make sure your feet are about hip width distance apart. Keep your right hand down, let's sweep the left arm up to the sky. You can bend the right knee if you like. Uh, left knee I mean, so straightening the right leg, left arm down, right arm lifting. And then just switch sides, switch sides, take it down, you're going to keep the left hand down, left knee bent, lift up through the right arm. Lifting up through the chest. Look up if your neck is okay. Otherwise, look to the side or look down. So a nice little side stretch and a twist. One more breath. Release, release. So just folding forwards at the front of the mat. Let's inhale, lift up halfway. Step back or maybe jump back to downward facing dog. In downward dog, we're going to bend both knees get really quite low here quite close to the earth you could even bend the elbows a little 
On the exhale, roll yourself forwards, like a wave-like movement to plank pose. Hold plank, inhale. High plank to low, lower slow. Elbows shave alongside the ribs and then rise up into cobra, maybe upward facing dog, Urdhva Dhanurasana. And then exhale, shift back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. From downward dog, let's inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, step forwards, right foot to the right thumb. Again, we're going to lower the left knee and rise up into a low lunge, arms to the sky. Take the right hand to the right hip, left arm reaching up and over. So again, we're doing a lot of repetitive movement. Fingertips either side of the front foot and we'll come into that pyramid pose, modified pyramid. Right leg straightens, straightens left knee is straightening as well. One more breath, extending the chest nice and long over that front thigh. From here, pyramid, let's come back into a lunge, high lunge this time, rising up, arms swooping up to the sky. Keep the lunge position, but start to move into this nice open twist. So your left hand's coming forwards, right hand is reaching back. We're just twisting from your mid spine, from your core. Sink down a little bit deeper and then flip into the uh, revolved lunge, Paravita Anjaniyasana. Left hand is down, maybe fingertips or fist. Right arm is lifting. Take another breath here and we're going to look down to that left hand and move into a variation of side plank. So you come onto the outer edge of the left foot. The right foot comes about midway along your mat. And we exhale, sweep that arm under. Inhale, left arm, uh, right arm up. Exhale, sweep it under. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, sweep it under. Do one more. Inhale. And exhale, sweep it under your chest. So right arm comes back up. Inhale. From here, we're going to find our way into a little strengthening. Just lift that right foot. Put it down. Try to lift the left foot. <laughs> Pretty tricky. And then find your way to side plank. Side plank. Fasti and a Side plank into high plank top of a push-up. You could skip straight to downward dog if you like, otherwise high plank to low plank to up dog cobra and then make your way back to downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Let's from here go ahead lift your left leg breathing. Yeah. Exhale we're going to lunge, slowly lunge that left foot to the left thumb. Pause for a moment as you lower the right knee, low lunge, rise up, sweep the arms up to the sky. Low lunge left hand to the left hip right arm sweeps up and over keep drawing the hips forwards both hands come down now as we shift into that pyramid pose You're lifting the back knee straightening through the front leg and extending a nice spacious long spine over the front thigh of course you can bend one knee or both so you just really want to tune into your body and do what feels right for you Coming back into high lunge now, bend the left knee, rise up, high lunge. High lunge into that twisting lunge. So you're drawing here, right arm forwards, left arm back. So it's a revolved anjaniyasana or twisting lunge. You're twisting from your mid spine, from your core. And then flip the pose, the right hand fingertips maybe come down to the inside of the left foot. You can even lean back a little bit as you extend that left arm up. Try to lift up out of the shoulders. We don't want to compress or sink down into them. Okay, transitioning into that variation of side plank, come onto the outer edge of the right foot. Shift the left foot about midway up your mat. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Exhale, swoop that left arm under. Inhale, reaching up, lean back. Exhale, curl that arm under. Inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, thread the left arm beneath you. One more, inhale, exhale. Coming back up, left arm to the sky. Now here's where we're gonna try to push into the outer edge of the right foot and just try to lift the left foot off the floor. Put it down, push into the right foot, uh, left foot, lift the right foot. <sighs> Tricky. And then maybe a moment here in a different variation of side planks. Stacking the legs is an option. Left arm, top arm, reaching up and over your head. And we'll find our way from here to plank. Top of a push-up. Again, you can skip the vinyasa or coming into upward dog. 
Urdva Mukha Svanasana. I said the wrong Sanskrit word before. I just realized downward facing dog. We meet in downward dog. Let's hold here a couple of breaths. Downward dog. Enjoy it. Maybe giving a little more attention to the breath in this little pause. And then bend the knees. Let's step or jump forwards. Feet to the front of the mat. Take an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, chair pose, Utkatasana, let's hold chair, sink the hips, try to relax the toes, hug in through the belly, palms come to touch now, breathing in one more and then exhale, come up to stand, all the way up to stand, and just in your clothing if you need to, <laughs> take an inhale and exhale, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, dive down, fold forwards and down, all the way down, take an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, we'll return into chair pose, Utkatasana. This time, palms come to prayer, to the chest, and we're going to move into a twist. So left elbow to the right knee, you're turning to the right, palms pressing together. Bring your attention to your right foot, push into it, and start to lift the left foot. Try to send it way back. You might have to kind of walk it back, but if you can, hover that left foot above the floor and then place it down coming into a twisting lunge. Again, open the arms. Left hand can be to the inside or outside of the right foot. Really trying to snuggle into that twist. Look up again if you can, if your neck's okay. And then we'll transition from here into warrior two. Spiraling up, back heel comes down. Right knees in the lunge. Sink into it one more breath, warrior two. And then exhale, come into your reverse warrior left hands reaching back and down the right arms re reaching way up and back let's straighten the front leg now reverse triangle reverse triangle so that right arms reaching up and back both legs are straight coming up and into trikonasana triangle pose so right hand comes forwards and down you're gonna take that right hand to your shin or the top of the foot maybe the floor block if you had one I'm here with my fingertips of the floor, right fingertips. I'm going to place that right hand to the inside of the right foot and move into side angle warrior, Parsva Konasana. Right knee is bending back into that lunge, left arm is lifting. Let's take one more breath and then place your left hand to your left hip, left hand to left hip. Right hand comes forward, so a little bit in front of that right foot. Step up into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. So right hands beneath the right shoulder, left arm, maybe extended up. You can have both knees bent, one knee bent. You can keep that left hand to the left shoulder. Just try to stay present with your breath. Bend that front knee now, lower the left hip. And we're going to try to transition up from here into aeroplane pose, Dakasana. It's a strong strong transition so the left leg is back the chest is forwards maybe look forward shoulders back you're balancing on the right leg hands come to prayer pause here and then rise up tuck that left knee into your chest coming up to stand for a moment left foot comes down very good it's a strong sequence maybe shake it out a little bit hands come to your hips we're going to stay facing forwards feet about hip width distance apart and then fold forwards and down into uh Standing forward, fold, but this time take a hold of your big toes. Prangustasana. The first two fingers hooking the big toes and we're just folding forwards. Let the elbows splay out to the side. Shoulders floating upwards away from your ears. So they're nice and buoyant. Take another breath in. Maybe you can pull with the hands and fold a little deeper into the stretch. And then we will release. Just maybe shake it out a little bit, shuffle the feet back together, bend the knees, come into chair pose, Utkatasana, sink the hips, hands to prayer, to the chest, and I've turned around, we're going to twist other side, so twisting to your left this, this time, so right elbow to the left knee, shift your weight into the left foot and try to, with steadiness, with ease, with strength, extend that right leg back, this hovering balance pose, and then tap the right foot down, and we find ourselves in this revolved twist open the arms when you're ready you could keep the hands in prayer if you prefer to hear the left arms lifting up the right hand is to the inside or outside of the left foot Let's spiral up into warrior two vira vajrasana two left side so your left knee is in the lunge this time so 
So tracking that left knee towards a little toe, left little toe. Reverse warrior. Right hand back, left arm up and over. Keep the lunge. The back leg, left leg is very strong here. And it's straightening that front leg. So both legs straight. Reverse triangle. Take another breath. Reverse triangle into Trikonasana. So you come up, you reach forwards and then down. Left hand is down this time. Right arm is lifting. The back toes can be turned in a little bit. Just check in with your knee. If you need to turn those right toes in on a kind of like a 45 degree angle, then do that. Moving back into the lunge, left knee is lunging. Left hand's now to the inside of the left foot. Or you could back it off and bring your forearm, left forearm to the left thigh. We're going to transition into that half moon. So right hand to the right hip. Look down, look forwards, place a left hand forwards, and then step up. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. You're balancing on your left leg. Maybe if you've got the balanced left arm to the sky, maybe look to the side or look upwards. <laughs> Courageous. And then we're going to look down, bend both knees, bend both knees, turn that right hip down, and, and try to make your way into aeroplane pose, Dakasana, balancing on the left leg. Maybe a bent knee. Aeroplane pose, extending back through the right leg, hands come to prayer, prayer to the chest, and then slowly come up to stand, drawing, hugging that right knee in, a little pause there for a moment, shoulders back, and then we'll step down, standing at the front of your mat. Separate your feet again. Separate your feet to about a hip width distance. Place your palms this time to the back of the hips. Take a little bit of a standing back bend, just as far as is comfortable for you. Curl your chin to your chest, and from here, slide your palms over the back of the legs, down to the back of the ankles, fold forwards, forwards and down. And then we'll take Padahastasana, Padahastasana, gorilla pose, palms slide underneath the feet hands underneath the feet. So you want to see the toes come right up to that crease in your wrist. Try to allow your head to be heavy here, the neck nice and long. Stay steady and present with your breath in this pose. And you want to try to lift the shoulders. Lift the shoulders. Let's release. Release the hands. Shuffle your feet wider than your hips. Turn the toes out. So coming into a squat Malasana, so knees bent, Malasana, yogic squat. I like to kind of wiggle around a little bit here on my toes and ankles with the hands uh, quite supportive there. And then if you can, lift the hands up, hands come into prayer to the chest, roll the shoulders back. You can always have the hands to the floor here. I'm going to tuck the right shoulder deep into the inner right thigh and just kind of massaging your hands into the left inner thigh. Just kind of pumping, catwalking the hands in, really pushing out. It can be pretty intense this one. We'll shift sides so and come back to center. Tuck that left shoulder into the left side, lean to the left, and then press, kind of kneading, like kneading dough. You're pummeling your hands into that inner right thigh. The hips, you want to try to keep the hips heavy. And then from here back to center, hands to prayer. Eyes open or closed. Enjoy a couple of breaths here, being very present and steady. If you want to supercharge it, take the arms up to the sky. It's going to switch on stabilizing back muscles. Hands to prayer again. Fold forwards, fold forwards and down. Separate your feet again, wider, wider, wider than your hips. But turn the toes in. Coming into Prasarita Parottanasana. Prasarita Parottanasana. This nice wide-legged standing fold. And then we're going to keep the right hand down beneath the shoulder. Right shoulder, left arm sweeps up. So right hand beneath the right shoulder, left hand to the sky. You want to try to keep your hips to center. Left hand down beneath the left shoulder, right hand up. And I can see my hips are swaying to the side, so I really would want to be drawing my hips to the left now. Maybe take the feet a little bit wider, hands down, and then take a few of these, what we call ninja lunges, ninja lunges, shifting side to side, so bending one knee and then the other, and just kind of alternating 
trying to access the stretch in the inner thighs. And just a couple more of those side to side movements. You don't have to come so deep into it. And we're going to walk over to the left side for pigeon pose. You're tucking that left foot in towards your right hip. Left knee is forwards. Breathing in, come up onto your fingertips and lift up through the spine. You're on the top of that back right foot. Exhale, fold forwards and down. This kind of wave-like movement. Inhale, rising up. Lift up through the crown of the head. Exhale, waving down, forwards and down. Again, inhale to rise, lifting up, lengthening through the spine, stretching along the front right hip. Exhale, this time start to move into your full expression of Ekapada Raj Kaputasana, a half pigeon hip stretch. So for me, I've got my left foot quite close to my right hip. That's probably quite common. Um, I'm a little tight on that side today. I'm gonna wiggle around a little bit on, on my hips, just a gentle rocking motion. Stay very present with your breath. Slow the breath down if you haven't already. And then let's rise up, coming back up into pigeon. We're gonna come back into that uh, wide-legged fold. So back to the center of your mat, facing the long edge of your mat, prasarita paratanasana, fold forwards and down. And you could take the same variation, just folding with the hands down, or maybe work into the shoulders, fingers interlaced behind your back. Could move a little bit or, or keep your legs straight so it's up to you maybe bending the knees in this pose shifting side to side or just stay centered stay straight straight legs let's take the hands down hands down and, and move to the back of your mat or the front moving to your right foot so we're coming into half pigeon pose right side wiggle the right foot to the left hip extend back through the left leg Come onto the top of the left foot. You're going to point your toes back. Come up onto your fingertips here and take an inhale, lift up through the spine. Exhale, waving down. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, waving down. Deep inhale, rising up. This undulating wave like motion. Exhale, take it down. One more, maybe. And then coming down into your, your expression of half pigeon pose. You want to try to release a sense of heaviness through the hips, relax through the shoulders, soften through the face. Take one more breath. Coming up, not holding it too long, coming up and transition again to the long edge of your mat, toes facing the long edge of your mat, maybe a couple of little wiggly ninja lunge poses here and then find your way to sit all the way down sitting with your legs extended out in front of you so lift up through the spine take your fingertips alongside the hips take an inhale and on the exhale coming forwards and down into Paschimottanasana so an extended leg forward fold you may of course need to have your knees bent here Straightening them as best you can. Forehead towards the shins, shoulders drawing back. Enjoy another deep, slow breath in. Exhaling here, exhale, exhale, exhale. Out of that one now, rolling up, rolling up. Take the palms behind your hips, fingers facing you. Bend the knees, feet flat, feet about. Uh, hip width distance apart. Lift up from the low back, lift up from the back of the chest and then rise up into reverse tabletop. So hips are high, inhale here, hips high. Exhale, just tap the hips down. Inhale, lifting up, hips up. Exhale, tap the hips down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left, lift, press into the hands. One more. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, hold it. Hips high, press into the feet, press into the hands. Let's come down. This time coming all the way down onto your back, preparing for Septu Bandhasana Bridge Pose. So you keep the knees bent, the feet flat, feet about hip width distance apart. Tuck under through the tailbone and go ahead, lift the hips. Hips high, bridge pose, bridge pose, Septu Bandhasana. 
making sure that your chin is not like jutting into the chest or poking up into the sky. You want to keep the neck nice and long. Let's enjoy another deep breath in, pressing into the feet, hips high, and exhale, come rolling, rolling down, hips down, slowing down. Just relax for one, hips down, enjoy a breath or two here. And then either come into the same pose, bridge, or move into Urdhva Dhanurasana or Chakrasana, the wheel pose, wheel pose. Palms alongside your ears, fingertips towards the shoulders, press down to come up, wheel pose or bridge. Another two breaths, try to switch on through the glutes and your core, supporting and protecting our low back, it's a strong back bend. One more inhale. When you come out of this one, come out slow, tuck your chin and slowly coming down with control all the way down. Once you land, you simply hug the knees into your chest, gently rocking side to side here. Your back and then we're going to prepare to come into some kind of inversion. So depending on what's available to you, you might have a block or a cushion or another rolled up yoga mat bolster perhaps place it underneath your hips and lift the legs up so we didn't demonstrate too long you would stay there for a couple of minutes if it's in your capacity you could shift to a wall and put your legs up the wall uh, with a cushion a block or something underneath your hips as well or, or, or not again depending on what you have access to you could also do this pose like with um, your legs resting on a couch or a bed just laying down so your knees would be bent in that case um, but I, I, it would be wonderful if you could find some way to elevate your legs maybe with the support of a wall and then hold it for a couple of minutes so we're starting to wind right down now so it might feel natural for you at this stage to close your eyes feel free to keep them open and we'll, we'll start to slow the breath down now and moving into our resting phase, our relaxation phase of our practice. And so you want to invite a particular quality of breath that's a little more restful. So inviting restfulness. And it's paradoxically that the restfulness of meditation always leads to healing. And, and healing itself is very active. So we're restful, healing begins to occur and switch on, and healing is quite active. So you can experience the healing as quite busy, quite turbulent, maybe some sort of residual or chronic tension and even trauma can come to your attention so can you simply make space for that to come up to move to be moved to change and to transform making interior space for the healing to occur Sometimes we have quite a busy, mentally busy experience and relaxation and this is okay, it's very normal, very natural, you haven't failed in meditation if you have a busy mind. In fact, I encourage you to take a very spacious, embracing, loving attitude towards a busy mind. Minds are curious things and they want to wonder and follow what is interesting. So we welcome the movements of the mind. So enjoying, cherishing the movement of the breath. Welcoming the movement of the mind. Maybe celebrating your body's immense power, its natural ability to heal itself mentally, physically, emotionally. 
welcome the phase of healing. Enjoying the breath, welcoming the movement of the mind, cherishing the rhythms of healing. Enjoying two more breaths in this position. Slow breaths. If you need to, you can press pause and stay here as long as you like, maybe even up to 10 minutes. But if you can, from now, if you're still joining me, we're going to move from here by coming out of it, walking your feet down the wall. Roll, bend your knees, roll gently to one side. Just pause there. And then almost like liquid, seamlessly, you want to rise up and position yourself into a comfortable seated position. It may be leaning against a wall or with the support of a cushion, maybe legs crossed, maybe knees bent. And then choose if you want to have your eyes open or eyes closed, just only what feels natural for you. Placing one hand on your chest, one hand on your belly. Mm -hmm. It's a gesture of love and, and self-soothing. Maybe taking a moment to admire and to be in awe of how magnificent and powerful your, your body's own healing capacities are. Be grateful for this beautiful, intelligent, unique piece of technology that we call our body is. Being grateful for your body. Loving your breath. Hands come to prayer now. Enjoy another two and three breaths. Relaxing into the breath. Love my body. Let's take one more deep breath in together. Exhale to close your practice. Maybe softly open your eyes, adjust to the light of the room, and prepare to get up and move onwards and outwards into your day. Enjoy the rest of your day or your evening. Namaste.